My name is Jai, I'm Sita's nephew and along with my auntie Mirabai I make the videos here at Flowhive. I'm going to share some simple tips and tricks on how to film your Flowhive honey harvest so you can share this awesome experience. There's so many ways you can go about this but I'm just going to be showing you one quick and simple way to get a beautiful harvest video using just your mobile phone with videoing ability. It's good to have everything you need for a harvest ready to go before you start shooting. Honey jars, a shelf or a stand, tubes and a flow key. If this is your first harvest, check out our Flowhive honey harvesting video on YouTube for more detailed instructions. This experience is always best shared, so invite your relatives, friends or neighbours around to help you out. They can be your extra set of hands. You might even know someone tech savvy who can help you film or edit this video. To keep things running smoothly, charge your phone and make sure there's plenty of free space. Clean your lens. A lens cloth works best, but a soft t-shirt will work also. These hives have a fairly calm temperament, however, if you're unsure, it's always best to wear protective equipment. Lots of natural light is best, so your videos can be bright and full of beautiful colours. If you try to film your videos with not enough light, your videos will probably end up grainy and dark. Generally holding your camera in landscape orientation is the best. That's sideways, like this. As you're preparing to start shooting, practice tucking your elbows into your chest. This will help keep your camera steady and give you much better shots. Try to find a nice, calm, quiet day or as close as possible. Things such as lawn mowers in the background may ruin the atmosphere of your video. It's always fun to mix up the angles to get the most out of your harvest video. My favourite angles are a wide shot of your garden or rooftop is great to give you some perspective on where the hive is. Top to bottom hive shot showing the side window and the honey harvesting. A close up of the honey harvest showing just frames and jars. A close up of just the honey tube. A close up of just the honey collection tube from the side. And a close up of honey pouring into the jar. Don't be afraid to get adventurous here. I always find myself in all sorts of funny positions just to get the right shot. I'll be showing you iMovie on an iPhone, but there's heaps of similar apps if you're on Android. If you don't already have iMovie, you can download this from the Apple App Store. One to four minutes is a nice length to aim for when editing your harvest video. I reckon one and a half minutes is the sweet spot. If you don't feel comfortable editing your video with lots of shorter takes and would rather do your video in one long single take, this is also an option.